Hey everyone, I'm the 20-something chemist, and I'm recovering from a cold, so if I sound a bit different, that's why. Anyway, my original plan for this video was going to be talking about Tales from the Yawning Portal, the latest publication from Wizards of the Coast, but then the game theorists uploaded something on Thursday that gave me a better idea. The video they uploaded was the first episode of their new series, Global Gamer, which is about how gaming reflects all these different cultures from all around the world. It's also in 360, so you can look around at all these cool things while Matt, Pat, and friends are talking. I'll put a link down in the description if anyone wants to check it out. So the first episode, they're in Japan talking about how Japanese culture is reflected in video games. And near the end of the episode, they introduce this idea of how Japanese people like to uh, communicate indirectly through doing the same activity at the same time. Something like going to fish. You're doing something together, yet at the same time independently. And that got me thinking. There seems to be this idea in Japanese culture of people coming together and uniting to do something greater than any one individual. And while I'm sure this idea exists in several cultures in some way, it's not really something that you see in American culture. We tend to idolize the individual. Sports teams are usually only covered because of one or two individual players, and it's become more about supporting them and not the actual team. And music artists aren't really part of any group anymore, it's usually just specific people. However, I notice this trend isn't really there in the things that I personally enjoy, and frankly it's not there in a lot of pop culture. Let's start with comic books. Look at how many super teams there are. The Avengers, the X-Men, the Justice League, the Teen Titans, Suicide Squad, Thunderbolts, the Defenders. I think there's a reason why we like superheroes to be in teams. It's not really as pervasive as it probably was in the past, but nerds have always been outcasts one way or another. We tend to like the things that not all of the people are into, and we also revel in that fact because we dread the thought of being normal. But as humans, we're a social species. We yearn to connect with those around us, so when nerds find like-minded individuals to engage with and talks about comic books and movies and Dungeons and Dragons, a special bond is formed. And we tend to like superheroes because they remind us of ourselves, so we put them together in teams because these teams are often more than just co-workers doing the same job. It's people of the same ilk coming together and achieving something far greater than any one of them. It's why I love the phrase Avengers Assemble. Those two words encapsulate so many emotion and sum up the lines at the beginning of almost any Avengers book. And there came a day, a day unlike any other, when Earth's mightiest heroes found themselves united against a common threat. On that day, the Avengers were born, to fight the foes no single hero could withstand. And this idea of coming together can also be found in Dungeons and Dragons. The game itself doesn't exist without a group of people to play with but the actual gameplay is more interesting. A good adventuring party is made up of people who can do everything. You have a tank who can take a lot of damage and deal out even more. You have a healer to keep everyone alive. You have a ranger to attack from afar. You have a caster to deal with anything and everything magical. And you have a rogue to get you into places you're not supposed to be. Everyone in the group has their role, and no one person can do everything to any decent effect. This ideology can even be found in the scientific community. Most scientific discoveries aren't made by a single person. No, they're made up of a team of researchers from all sorts of different fields coming together to try to find the answer to a question. And sure, the question may be posed by a single person, but they're almost guaranteed to need help somewhere along the way. I don't really have a larger point to all of this, I just found it interesting how Japanese culture has this idea of doing something together yet independently and how I don't really see that in Western culture outside of my nerdy interests. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, click over here for more videos, click over here to check out my channel, and join me next time when the topic will be eating as many peeps as I can because Easter. Well, that's going to be fun for my digestive system.